Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 18 of League One to Legend with Portsmouth. Today we travel to Oakwell to take on Barnsley. We've got a few results to run through and we've got four brand new signings to introduce you in a bumper episode today. Don't forget if you enjoy this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel and also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's jump in to the brand new signing shall we? And we started a very busy transfer deadline day by bringing in Henrik Delsgaard on loan from Brentford for the season. Can play completely up that right hand side which is fantastic and it gives us many options in many different areas of the field and he's very very adept at playing in the championship which is a big plus point for me three star player 32 years of age he will add experience to this squad which is pretty vital next man in the door is Callum O'Dowda he has joined us from Bristol City for a fee rising to 1.8 million pounds a big money transfer 26 year old irish international three star player has the potential to be a three and a half star player we finally sorted out the issue down the wing which is very very important that we did that get a bit more quality out there pace of 14 acceleration of 15 are his key attributes crossing of 11 as well which i'm hoping will get better will give us certainly an option out on that left hand side and he can also play down the right as well and speaking of sorting problems out, we have finally found ourselves a striker. Freddy Ladapo has joined us from Rotherham for a fee rising to £2 million. We have spread it out as far as we can to try and make the best of the transfer budget that we were given. 28-year-old Nigerian, finishing at 13, pace of 14, acceleration of 13, strength of 15, which is a key one for me. Certainly an upgrade on John Marquist, who he'll replace in the side. John is still with the club, but has been told, obviously, that his game time will be diminished as a result of Freddie's arrival. And I'm really hoping this one's going to work out. And lastly, we dipped into the transfer market to bring Morgan Gibbs-White on loan from Wolves for the season. A four-star advanced playmaker, can play centre midfield, can play behind the striker as well. We were eagerly looking for someone who could play behind the striker. 21 year old under 21 international four star player has the potential to be a five star player it was a no-brainer really when i see he was available on loan we are paying 15 grand of his wages we are paying 100 percent of that it is a bit of a gamble he has taken us over our wage budget a little bit only by three grand so hopefully he will prove his worth and i'm really hoping this one works out as well so that is the summer spending all done and dusted. Four very good signings brought in there. Two departures to talk about briefly. Tom Naylor has joined Ipswich for £500,000. Ben Close has gone on loan to St Mirren for the season as we made a little bit of space in the squad to bring in the new additions. Now to the results we've had since we were last together and following the defeat against Fulham in the last episode, the link is up the top for that one, we beat Watford in the second round of the EFL Cup. Luke Berry scoring an absolute thunderbolt to take us through to round three. Marcus Harness gave us the only goal of the game as we beat Reading by a goal to nil. It was nothing more than we deserved really and it's a great result to finally get a win on the board. We followed that up with a nil-nil draw away at Rotherham. I thought we should have won this one to be honest we did have plenty of chances in the game but sadly couldn't find the net thankfully neither could Rotherham we did back that up though with a 1-0 win over Nottingham Forest Marcus Hardy going deep into added time at the end of the second half to give us another win in the championship and that was followed up by the third round of the EFL Cup as we beat Peterborough by a goal to nil Ryan Williams with the only goal of the game so on to the competition screen we go and as you can see on the far right of the screen it's Liverpool in the next round of the Carabao Cup. Will Lightning strike twice at home to Liverpool? We beat them obviously in the FA Cup last season. That is the last time I'm going to mention that for a little while. Probably not. We move on to the championship though. We are into the top half folks. 10th position, 12 points from 9 games played. We've had a really good run of results lately with those two wins over Reading and Nottingham Forest respectively. Watford lead the way though at 23 points. Oxford United are having an amazing start to their championship season. 20 points 
from their nine games played, they are currently second. Sheffield United third. Bournemouth fourth on 18, with Fulham and Middlesbrough both on 17. Just outside are Derby and West Brom on 16. Then there's a clutch of sides on 12, Reading ourselves, a Hull and Nottingham Forest completing the top half down at the bottom. Where I'm brutally honest, I thought we would spend most of our season, but Preston are bottom with only two points. They are the only side in the championship without a win now. Swansea have got six. Rotherham and Birmingham have got seven apiece. Bristol City and QPR on eight apiece. Barnsley today's opponents on nine with Brentford also on nine Blackburn and Coventry both on 10 with Huddersfield and Wickham both on 11 so Barnsley have the opportunity to move into the top half today we have the chance to potentially move into playoff contention which is absolutely bonkers when you think where we should be in the table but hey we are punching above our weight and it's great to see can we get you a win on a live com let's find out the teams and here are the two starting lineups. Barnsley start with Walton in goal, Solbacker, Halmy, Anderson, Britton, Styles, Kane, Palmer, Freezer, Adur with Woodrow up front. We start with Bettinelli in goal, Dalesgaard, Watmore, Byrne, Brown, Gibbs White, Kelly, Berry, Harness, Callum O'Dowder with Freddie Ladapo leading the line. So yeah, I'm very conscious we have not seen a win on a live com so far this season. Hopefully today is going to be the day, although Barnsley will be a tough nut to crack. Obviously playing five at the back, as you can see, only the two in midfield. So hopefully we can overrun them in the centre of the park. 4-2-3-1 for us, as per usual, we are flying at the moment. Four wins from five, including those two good cup wins as well. But a chance to potentially move into playoff contention which is not something I thought I was going to be saying, if I'm brutally honest. But it's very early days in the season. Hopefully we can get a win at Oakwell. Let's find out. It would be nice. I want to show you a win, if I can. Freddie Ladapo's going down the centre. Hasn't scored yet, Freddie Ladapo. But hopefully today will be the day as we go out for an early corner. Lee Brown will take it in towards the centre, headed away by Halmy. Picked up by Kane. Not that Kane. Thank God he ain't playing for Barnsley. Freezer. Coming down the field, coming down the right-hand side. Berry's going back with him. Freezer comes into the penalty area, gets the shot across goal, but Byrne gets it away. Patient build-up. Keep the ball. That's it. Kelly. Into Berry. Kelly again. Trying to make the play happen from back there. Brown across into Gibbs White. Good ball. Plays it out wide to Harness. Here we go. This is what we wanted to see. Harness coming down the field. Up against Styles. Anderson's gone inside. Stalsgaard picks it up. Will he find a cross into the middle? He will. Aldada heads towards goal and it's in the back of the net from Callum Aldada. First goal for Pompey. Yes, Callum. Good boy. Paying back his transfer fee almost immediately. And it's a good header in from Callum Aldada. It's a good cross from Henrik Dalsgaard as well. The new signings are gelling together, folks. It's lovely to see. 1-0. Harness comes across towards him. Palmer. Into Styles, don't let him get a shot away. Woodrow, don't let him shoot either. He goes on the turn. Britain with a shot. Bettinelli tips it over the bar. I'll tell you what, Marcus Bettinelli has been superb so far this season. Those clean sheets we've been having are all down to him, pretty much. And the defence as well, of course. Freezer. Gibbs White is up against him. Comes into the penalty here. Burn hacks it away. Oh, almost in. Styles guard in front of him. Chips it inside to Berry. Berry looking wide for O'Dowda. We're playing very expansive football at the moment. It's lovely to see. Berry. O'Dowda again. Berry into Gibbs White. Through to O'Dowda. He's in behind. Will he score again? He will. Callum O'Dowda. Two goals in 20 minutes. Lovely football. Brilliant passing move. And O'Dowda finishes it off. He's looking a snip at £1.5 million, pounds, isn't he? Absolutely. Gibbs White with the ball in behind. Rolls it in the bottom corner, 2-0. Odur we'll with the free kick for Barnsley towards the far post. Are we going to get it away? Oh, goodness me, it's hit the top of the bar. Bettinelli was rooted to the spot. Into Kane, wide to Styles. Dalgar's going to go towards him. Going to have to, Henrik. Try and block it if you can. Plays it back to Palmer. Palmer gets the shot away. Bettinelli with the catch, though. And that is half time. Two goals from Callum O'Dowda put us 2-0 up at half time. Although we must be wary of Barnsley. They've had a couple of chances. Nothing concrete, but they've had a couple of chances. Things are going well. They can go even better. Let's see how they get on in the second half. Styles with the throw. Throws it in towards the penalty. And Morgan Gibbs-White gets there, though. Harness comes forward. Go on, Marcus. Run with the ball, son. Keep running. 
Ladapo's going down the centre, trying to draw a centre back away. He's got the ball now as Freddy Ladapo. It's a tight angle, so he's going to have to pass it definitely. Harness with the shot, but straight across the front of goal. We are sitting back a little bit, but we are pressing the ball as much as we can. A door wide into Styles. Harness, you've got to do better than that, mate. As Dalsgars tries to come across, headed towards goal and headed in by Dominic Freezer. Barnsley back in the game, just before the hour mark. Bit of poor defending, which has been unlike us of late. But there is the goal from Barnsley. Styles with the cross into the middle. It's missed by Dan Byrne, it has to be said. Freezer profits 1-2. Freezer with the throw. We are going to make a substitution in a minute because the tide is turning towards our goal and I don't like it. Palmer into Kane. Picked up by Morgan Gibbs White. Run, Morgan. He's got runners with him. Can he find a pass? He will find the pass into Kelly. Kelly, will he pick a ball out? He's got plenty of options. Berry with a shot. Oh my goodness me. He's hit the bar. And back to the goalkeeper. What a goal that would have been. 25 minutes to play. Morgan Gibbs White is looking tired, but he is running the show at the moment. So Marcus Harness is going to be the man to come off. Ryan Williams is going to come off. Let's have a look at another change with a quarter of an hour to play. Now we are going to take Morgan Gibbs White off this time. And Ronan Curtis is going to come on. Leave it around with the throw. Throws it into the centre. Adowda picks it up. Tries to play it across. Kelly into Curtis. He's got Berry with him. Will he get a shot away? He will, Berry, but it's saved by the keeper. Into Kane. Looking in behind. Byrne heads it forward. Berry heads it on. Freddie, you've got to be alive to that, son. That's your ball. Styles chips it forward. Byrne heads it forward, though. Styles picks it up again. Plays it into Williams. Williams with the shot, but wide of the goal, thankfully. As we reach the four added minutes that we have left. Come on, boys. See it over the line. Into Ladapo. Berry. Into O'Dowd. On a hat trick. Chips it wide, looking for Ryan Williams. Play it back to Dalsgaard if you need to. Does not. He plays it across into the centre. It's tipped away by the goalkeeper. Britain gets it clear. Thomas sends it down the field. Simons is in behind. What more coming across towards him? Woodrow's down the centre all alone. Will he beat the goalkeeper? He will. We have been denied in the final seconds again. Jesus Christ, lads. Kai Woodrow with the equalising goal. And Barnsley have pinched a point. Oh, we just didn't track back. And he's beaten Bettinelli off the post. It nearly goes wide. Oh, my God. And that is full time. Barnsley 2, Portsmouth 2. I don't know what to make of that. We had it. We had it in the palm of our hands and we have let it go. Let's see what it's done to the league table. So at the top of the table, Watford and Oxford have both won, as have Fulham as well. So we are as we were at the top of the table. West Brom have had a good away win at Coventry. Sheffield United lost at home to Watford. We dropped down to 12th as a result of our draw. 13 points though from 10 games played. Should have been more, shouldn't it, today? I do not know how that one has got away. We genuinely don't. So let's take a look at what we're going to do next time around. So what we will do next time around, we will come back for the game that I have highlighted against Preston North End. They are currently bottom of the championship table without a win. Surely that's going to be the day we get a win on a live comp, right? Because I have to say that was a very hard kick in the nuts from Barnsley. Corley Woodrow scoring deep into added time we were so close to getting a win on the live com we've done really really well lately as well we've been winning games very tightly but that is four games unbeaten in the championship so that's a good thing right as well a couple of good wins there over reading and nottingham forest just couldn't convert it today into a win i should have sharp shop i was thinking about it and i was like no come on they're gonna be all right footballers eh what we're we gonna do with them so yes, we will come back next time around for that game with Preston. Fingers crossed we can get a win on a live com and get that monkey off our back for this season. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please click that subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget I'm a member of the Passion for FM team, the link to the discord server is down in the description i'm also promoting the charity mind if you are suffering with your mental health through this global pandemic there are links down in the description where hopefully you can find the support you need i will see you next time for preston north end until then thanks for watching goodbye